keep on falling in love. And the bass keeps running, running, and 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 Junior here with Custom Offsets, and we are back at it again. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white van. With another episode of Reinventing the Wheel. But this time, we're gonna get a little hostile. Smaller. Smaller. A little hostile. All right, so last time we brought you guys the American Force Wheels. Some of you love them, but lots of you had shit to say about them. So I want you all to start with your opinions of hostile and leave a comment below. We love to fight with you guys in the comments. They've got a completely new lineup coming out in 2018, so you're gonna wanna watch this whole video and check out the bad new things they've got coming up. All right, so let's get right into it. Hostile Wheels is a subsidiary company of MKW Alloy who started in 1999. Well, technically they started in 95 by exporting wheels from the US to Asia, but why two UK was coming and they decided to bring their wheels to the US before the world ended. I might have made some of that up. But really though, they came to America with their wheel line and planted themselves as the leader in the market for big ass chrome wheels. SUVs and trucks were pretty pimp, especially in 04 when MKW was the first ones to release a 26 inch wheel. Hostile Wheels was conceived in mid-2012 by the sales and marketing team at MKW with hopes at becoming a big name in the off-road <laughs> community. You won't be seeing these things off-road though. These are mall crawler wheels. Stop getting mad when we show you wheels that are 20 inches or bigger. It's what we do. They're pretty sweet. Hostile Wheels was introduced to the truck community at the SEMA show in November of that same year. If you didn't already know, SEMA is the Specialty Equipment Market Association, AKA lots of brand new shit for cars and trucks that is debuted and displayed for the first time in the world at this show in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is probably the largest aftermarket product show in the nation and the brand new company Hostile Wheels was shown off there for the first time in 2012. Since the beginning, the designs have been popular and different than some of the other plain Jane companies out there. And with 14 wide availability on styles like the Switchblade and Exile, people started pouring in on these brand new styles wanting something different than everybody else. Now, lots of issues arose that weren't all Hostile's fault, but with everybody wanting this brand new Brad, Brad, Brad ass, but with everybody wanting this brand new badass brand who had limited inventory anyways as a brand new company, orders were coming from every direction and weren't getting filled. Lots of events all linked to each other, but basically it all started with PVD. Jesus Christ. If you didn't know, PVD is basically a fake chrome that was used as a finish on wheels, which is basically a chrome powder coat because fuck actual chrome, right? Wrong. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. We actually there were insane numbers of people who filed finish issues even with our customer service team because the PVD would peel like a clear coat. And no, this wasn't just hostile. This was across the board for almost all companies that use PVD for their chrome wheels. So hostile and all of the other companies too decided to go back to true chrome wheels. Obviously held back everyone who ordered the PVD hostiles because now they're waiting for their true chrome ones to come in. So hostile gets their chrome wheels shipped, everyone gets them, bolts them on their trucks, and lives happily ever after. Shipping dock workers decided to strike and nothing was coming into the country. And yes, hostile comes from China. Guys, almost all cast wheels come from China. Lots of companies have tried being manufactured and sold in the US, but it's just cheaper to run their factories from China. Get over it. Anyways, Hostile had a boatload, like literally a boatload of wheels sitting on their ships and couldn't get them unloaded and shipped out customs. And all of those wheels were already spoken for too. If you wanted a new set of Hostiles during all of this, you'd get put on a waiting list and maybe get them in three months if you were lucky. All popular sizes, like the 20 by 12, all the way up to like a 22 by 14, were about a year out. But everyone has said that it's worth the wait because they are a one of a kind wheel and you won't find anything similar to them. Quote, Sean. Since then, Hostile has been slowly overcoming and getting everybody their gauntlets and sprockets. It takes a small crew of 50 to keep the day-to-day -day operations running and do their best to take care of customers. With their expansion, they went from just their main headquarters located in Southern California to also recently opening a Tampa, Florida location to take over the US and then the world.
Okay, so they actually did it to better serve their Florida customer base, but they are becoming a huge part of the truck game. Bing. Hostile Wheels is known in the game for their bad ass, aggressive designs, deep lips, and open center caps for spike lug nuts. Recently, at the 2017 SEMA show, Hostile Wheels debuted its newly established line of one-piece, made-to-order, custom forged wheels. The Hostile Forged exclusive series consists of lightweight forged, one-piece aluminum off-road performance wheels that are designed and manufactured in California, and state-of-the-art five-access mills, which means their wheels are dope. Trust me, I saw them at SEMA. They're awesome. Okay, dudes, that's all I got for you this week. Give this a like, a share, and comment what wheels you want to see next. We have some big brands coming up, so drop a comment. This is Reinventing the Wheel. I'm Junior. You guys are awesome for watching this. Peace.